Hey guys, it's James again. Today I'm going to talk about things you need to know when entering the dating world. I really wish I had known these things going into college. You might say, James, why did you wait until college to start dating? That's none of your business. But I'm going to tell you a bad experience that I had and go through all the mistakes that I made. So hopefully you can avoid them. So here we go. You need to be picky when dating. The first mistake that I made on this particular date was it was a pity date. I hope you're not pity dating me. Pity dates don't help anyone. It was a pity date because my buddy was dating a girl who was in a sorority. She had a friend. They had their formal. She didn't have a date. So I said, hey, I'll go with you. You know, just trying to be a nice guy. Don't be a nice guy like that. Next mistake that I made, I twisted my ankle, sprained it, and I still went because of my honor. Honor in that sense is really dumb, so don't do that. Because I went to this dance, I couldn't dance at all. My ankle's the size of my knee. I realized things were going wrong when this girl started telling stories. I love telling stories. You get a good person telling a story, it's great. You get a bad person telling a story, it's miserable. This is not go for all women, but this is what she sounded like. I'm just being honest. So one time I'm at this party, and the cops came because there was the fence there. I'm thinking to myself, okay, don't say anything. Then she says, and I was like a f***ing triathlon and I got out of there. You can't be a triathlon. You can run, bike, and swim in a triathlon, but you can't be a triathlon. I knew things were going downhill at this point. I should have bailed, right? Mistake number three, expecting things to get better. If you're not into the person an hour in, it's not gonna happen. It just... I wasn't into you an hour in though. Yeah, but that wasn't a date. I was storytelling and it was awesome. Anyway, back to the story. Where was I? Well, like if you're an hour into the, to the date and it's not happening, bail. Which brings me to mistake number four. I had no exit plan. You gotta have a friend on speed dial. Hey, if I text you help, then you call me with an emergency. Or just tell the person that you're not into them. It's okay, you're probably never gonna see them again, just be honest. My approach was a little bit different. I went to the after party, after the dance, because I thought, hey, what could possibly go wrong? Well, the after party was the expectations of everybody going into each other's rooms at their sorority house. <sighs> this is the most embarrassing part. I had the bright idea of being like, I'm gonna go to the bathroom and wait for her to go up to the room and then make my exit. This was a terrible thing to do. This is mistake number, I think, five. Learn to say no. It's much better to say no to someone than to try and avoid the confrontation in general. They'll hate you for the moment, but they'll get over it. They'll move on to someone who's better for them than you. Here's the worst part, and I am forever sorry for this. Don't ever do this. I didn't know how to say no. I could hear her talking with all of her girlfriends outside the bathroom. So I couldn't make my exit. So I crawled out the bathroom window and hobbled down the road until I could get a hold of somebody to pick me up. Not one of my shiny. That's ones. horrible. Have you seen her since? I saw her a year later at a bar. The worst part was I didn't recognize her. I had that thing where I was like, I know you from somewhere. She was really smiley and then she saw me. Mm hmm I understand why she hates me. So don't make the same mistakes I did. Be picky when it comes to dating because you're gonna have to spend time with them. Learn to say no. Don't be an idiot like I was. Don't go on a pity date. And just, to, just be honest with the person. It can only help you. Those are my, those are my dating tips. If you like to give it a big thumbs up, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And if you have any terrible dating stories about yourself that you're not proud of, please comment below. It'll make me feel a lot better. Well, I'll have a good chuckle about it. And that's all. James out. And you're done. Done. It was a miserable, miserable experience.